Okay, so um, I'm Smith Patterson, and I had reverse lunge. So um, before beginning the workout, it's important to do a dynamic warm-up. Uh, this will make sure that you're warming up all the muscles that will be used throughout the exercise. Um, so just a few examples would be like knee to chest walks, um, a slight jog beforehand, even walking quad stretches, things like that. We are doing a lower body exercise, so you do want to warm up your lower body muscles. Um, so the major muscles that are being used in the reverse lunge are the gluteus maximus, minimus, and medius, uh, which is your lateral hips and your butts. Um, you're also using your quadriceps and your adductors. Those are the major. There are a few more that are being used, but those are the big ones. Um, so how to do it. You're going to start with your legs shoulder width apart and standing straight up. So um, this will make sure you're even and you want to make sure your chest is up top. Uh, you then want to take a step back, allowing your knees and your hips to flex your lower body. Um, and then using the ball of your foot, you're going to slowly begin to descend downward. Uh, at this point, it can get a little tricky. You don't want to lean side to side. It could cause you to fall over. Um, and you want to make sure you are staying straight up with your hands at your hips or in front of you. Um, that is completely personal preference. And then before your knee hits the ground, you want to push back up through the balls of your feet. So here's a little example. So I'm going down, my knee's not hitting the floor, and then I'm coming back up. Um, normally, you want to keep your back straight. I did not do that. That's my fault. But uh, you keep your back straight, you want to look straight ahead, and this will keep you balanced so you're not falling any which direction. Um, Uh, so in other ways to amplify your lunges, um, you can hold free weights. So I don't actually have any free weights in my apartment, but you can use a free weight. Uh, you hold them on each side of you. And as you bend down, you're just going to take them down with you and bring them. Well, you're not moving your arms, but you're just going to let the weight take you down and pull you back up. Uh, this will help to add a little more. A little more difficulty to the exercise if just doing it with your body weight is not enough. So another way also to do it is to hold like a kettlebell or some sort of weight in front of you. And as you go down, when you hit pause right before your knee touches the ground, you're going to stop and you're going to twist. Um, this twist will also add in your ab muscles, uh, which will kind of help give you another thing to be working. Uh, And then, so some common errors that are done a lot when doing the reverse lunge. Um, a lot of people will use their hands to push off from their front leg. Now this you don't want to do. Um, it causes, like one, you're no longer using your lower body. You're using your arms to push yourself up, which is causing more momentum and less stress on your muscles, which is what you're trying to do is work your muscles on your lower body, your legs. Um, another thing is when you're doing the exercise, you're letting your knee touch the ground. You don't want to do this. You're no longer, again, using your muscles. You're just resting it on the ground and using the ground to help push yourself back up. Um, some people also, when doing it, will lean backwards or forwards. As whenever I did it, I did kind of lean a little forwards. You'd want to stay straight up with your back straight, shoulders back. Um, this will make sure you're also kind of engaging your core at the same time you're doing it. You do not want to step too far back or not far enough back um so when stepping too far back you run the risk of not being able to get yourself back up and falling over and it's the same way if you step too close you no longer are able to get yourself up as you can see at the end of that video i almost fell over um but also when you're too close or too far you run the risk of pulling muscles um and that's just because your body your muscles don't stretch that way and you're adding weights and stuff, your body weights to it, it's not good for your muscles. Um, we don't need to watch. Them. Again, other things just to kind of note, you do not need a spotter when you're using, uh, doing reverse lunges. Even with free weights, um, 
you're very close to the ground, you can just drop the weights if something is to happen. Um, so spotters are not necessary for this. And your movements are in the sagittal plane, um, except for the one amplified version with the twist, that will be sagittal and transverse because you added that extra uh, movement around. Um, but yeah, so that's a reverse lunge.